Welcome to Honeymoon Vlog Part 2. <laughs> we haven't moved, we're in the same place, same island, but it is a new week. If you didn't watch Honeymoon Vlog Part 1, then I'll leave that up on the screen and link it down below. You might want to catch up on that one. We were pretty much just settling in and doing nothing <laughs> last week. I think the, um, the most thing that we did was, aside from our workouts, which we've been very good at sticking to daily workouts, we did a very fascinating kombucha making um, workshop, discussed our books and just relaxed basically. But um, yeah, it's new week, our final five days, four days, we don't want, you don't want to think about it actually. No, but you know what, we're so lucky because two weeks, 10 days is the perfect amount. A lot of people have asked this, mm -hmm. if you can come to the Maldives and afford to come, it really is amazing if you can do 10 nights. Yeah. Or because Although ten... we did 10 nights last year and then we decided it wasn't no, long enough so I know, we stayed extra ten, two 10 nights. nights is the perfect amount. Any less than that, it just goes too quickly. Yeah. Two weeks has been a real luxury. We've got yeah. four more nights. Mm -hmm. um, but I think, well we can show later, but the beauty of this island, we like to do nothing. We like to read, we like to switch off, we like to stay away from our phones, technology. But actually, the I, even this year has shocked me the amount of activities mm. that you could do if you were someone that wanted to do something every day. Mm. Oh my gosh, like there's so much. Like obviously there's kombucha making, there's cocktail making, there's chocolate making. There's like three there's, or four <clears throat> fitness classes every day. Yeah, there's obviously all the various water sports, diving, there's ball, volleyball, table tennis. Paddle, catamaran, paddle. that thing with the water jets that like Paddleboard. sprays you up Not in the paddle. air. What did I say? Paddle. Oh, that would be great. That would be, paddle, well, yeah. it'd be boiling, but yeah. Mm. So, um... And I think there's quite a few classes that, that, uh, that are good for children as well. Yes, yeah, there's a children's club here um, that the children that we've spoken to absolutely love. They learn so much about the coral and everything, right? Yeah, so. and there's that huge marine um, conservation, the shell here. Yeah, I mean, th there's, yeah, there's just so many different layers to this place. And mm -hmm. I think if we can, who knows, we never know. Every time we go to the Maldives, we're like, we have to think this could be one of the last times we come for a long time. Yeah. Um, but beauty of here is I feel like it, it doesn't just suit one group of people. Yeah, there's you know so, I mean? so many options. Um, right. So today we started with a workout and we saw a couple of polka dot uh, stingrays in the water this morning so I think it's going to be a great day, pure blue skies, but for now we are heading to breakfast. This is how we get from A to B from our little water villas. Our next stop is the big water area, over water area, which is where we're going to have our breakfast. It's a true work of art, a stingray and a little fat turtle. turtle. Wow! Oh my gosh. Oh. Dolphin show this morning. Oh. Lots of dolphins. Delfini. It's a few hours later. We've spent the whole morning just chilling by the beach villa. We've had a very marine spotting action-packed morning. We spotted a few, um, I think they're called river rays, the polka dot mantas, polka dot stingrays this morning. You saw a giant... Well, I, saw a, I saw a ray sort of jump out of the water, which was pretty cool. It looked oh. like almost, um, yeah, I don't know, it just was spectacular. Very cool. Yeah, but we're enjoying our books, aren't we? Yeah. Your book's less uh, enjoyable, right? Well, I'll no, fit I'm... everyone in on it later. Yeah, I'll do a, I'll do a book review Always later. Always good to read the other side of the argument, but... Mm -hmm. And then it's I also spotted on. a pod of about 20 dolphins at breakfast this morning, so that was um, quite an exciting sight. But now we're at Sip Sip and we're going to have a nice tasty lunch. Kombucha. A very balanced lunch for us today. Chaz has got fish and chips. Maldivian fish and chips. This Maldivian jackfish. 
got a little beetroot salad and a pepperoni pizza. Treats after an afternoon lounging. This is what did he say? And Raspberry hibiscus. and hibiscus, little fruit lollies. And then we've got a coconut full of oh. delicious electrolytes. Is it good? Mm. <laughs> Very good. We need to make these, don't we? Good size as well. Kitchen garden ice lollies. Mmm. Mm. Okay, we have just come back to the villa and freshened up a little bit before dinner. Tonight is the Maldivian beach um, cocktail party, which is perfect because I think it's going to be a really lovely sunset tonight. We literally spent all afternoon on the beach just doing our usual laps around the island, which is just absolute bliss. We also, excitingly, here on the YouTube channel, hopefully you've spotted that we've been sharing a lot more YouTube shorts um, lately, and we really wanted to start sharing a lot of kind of unseen and not previously shared content around our wedding. We were so lucky to have so many photos and videos and so many memories of the wedding. And of course I did lots of vlogs as like the main content here on the channel but there's still so much that I wanted to share um, and one that we've put live today are a few of the things that Charlie and I did to prepare for the wedding and a lot of them are I guess you could say the kind of obvious things that we did to prepare for the wedding like we had a personal trainer um simon as i'm sure many of you know coming to the house and working on our fitness routine we made a few little changes dietary wise nothing major just being a little bit more conscious um and beauty treatments as well whether it was hair or facials lots of the yeah the kind of more obvious things but something else that We've mentioned, we've certainly not hidden it, but we've not really spoken about that much, was the fact that Charlie and I actually spoke with a therapist prior to getting married, getting married. And I think that that's something that um, we both found really, really useful and something that we've actually recommended to so many friends as well. I think that the, if you could call it stigma around speaking to a therapist is definitely pretty much non-existent now and you don't necessarily need to have a problem that you're working through to have a need to speak to a therapist. So we're really happy to be working with a company called BetterHelp and they make it so easy and accessible to speak to a credentialed therapist. Um, should we share a little bit about what we found useful, darling? about speaking to a therapist pre-wedding. <coughs> I think something that we both found really useful was... Um, there we are, we're matching. <laughs> wow, think, look I at think, your forehead, darling. I think, well, it looks red on camera. It I'd does. say it looks more tanned in real life. It does. Yeah. Um, I th well, first of all, I think you've maybe, I've been listening to something, writing an email in the background. We did, We obviously, we seeked therapy, I'd say, about a, week, a year before our wedding. Mm -hmm. Because, like any couples, there were certain things that we wanted to work through. And I think for us, it's always been about that work-life balance. 
Yeah. I think it's, without going into too much detail, I think it might resonate with a lot of you that are self-employed, but it's also underestimated that Josie and I spend a lot of time together, mm -hmm. uh, but a lot of working time and not, not always a lot of valuable, meaningful time. Yeah. Um, we spend a lot of time on technology. We also, because we work together, there's of course more opportunity for disagreement, for debate, etc. Uh -huh. um, and yeah, I think you're spot on. I think, to be honest, I was more open to it from the get-go because therapy helped me massively with my challenge with alcohol. Mm. Um, you know, without going into too much detail on that, obviously I, I developed a very unhealthy relationship with alcohol probably from the age of about 17 or 18. All the way through my 20s, it started to really affect my life negatively, I would say two or three years into our relationship mm -hmm. when I was with you from my the age of 21. Yeah. And therapy for that, to be honest, it was almost like um, eye-opening and really helped me in those early months mm. and I didn't keep it up I actually just saw a therapist I think about eight or ten times in a row for about ten weeks yeah. and it kind of got me to accept that it was my issue I need to stop blaming other people and accept responsibility so that then I think however many years on from that now obviously I'm nearly five years sober now that gave me sort of the toolkit to deal with my issues mm. and similarly talking to a therapist together and separately the yes. same person yeah about our relationship about the challenges and the, the that i faced and that you faced mm -hmm. and we i think we, we once again i think we actually only maybe spoke with her probably for maybe a two-month period i think it was a bit longer than that but also what i thought was really surprising was how impactful these sessions were given that we weren't actually face to face and um what you can do through better help is you can choose the style that you prefer you can do online video calls you can do phone calls you can do email or text message whatever you feel most comfortable but i think with. therapy face to face i thought having experienced therapy face to face was my only touch point that I could compare it to mm. um, but actually it removes that whole hassle around it yes. because we're all busy people we all have busy lives a lot of people go to the gym in the evening whatever trying to fit in an hour or maybe even 90 minutes or even two hours with a therapist mm. can be quite tricky yeah. especially as it's quite a private thing yeah. so you want to do it at home because you've not got that 20 minutes half an hour traveling somewhere yeah. and back yeah. you literally sit down put your laptop on yeah. or your phone and for us but then equally with this as you say, it, everyone's different in the way they deal with things. Mm. Maybe to start with, just communicating without your face mm. would be a, a good way of people yeah. dealing with problems. You don't need to even put your camera on. But yeah, as I said, there doesn't need to necessarily be a problem. It can be speaking to someone to help you achieve your goals, helping to boost your confidence in a workspace, and better help just make it um, a lot more achievable to do that. Well, you just, can... just, sorry to interrupt, but just on that point, I think there's a lot of interesting elements with therapy and you know I think as Brits we've got a lot of similarities with Americans we've met lots of lovely Americans on this trip mm -hmm. and I think in the UK don't get me wrong people say oh you, you know in America maybe food's more unhealthy and and, and we, we have differing views on nutrition etc etc but I tell you one thing credit where credit's due where in America mm -hmm. they are way more ahead of us is therapy there's yeah. no stigma yeah. they treat it like you would a GP appointment yes. a physio appointment whatever it might be you say okay let's have therapy for a month to work through whatever it's you're dealing with mm. and i think the big thing is yes we've got parents good friends but we've surrounded ourselves with people with similar views similar life experiences yeah, so it's the same issue i have with view. politics let's not go into it is when you've got loads of people that are around you that have shared the same experience Echo you chamber. often come up with the same solution Mm. With a therapist, they're A, trained in it, mm -hmm. but also B, they've got lots of different ways and different solutions to your yes. problem. Yeah, and which that, is what we found really useful. Which is, it blew our minds, yeah. and I think that's why, and I also think there's a danger where, unlike with a GP, you need to be sick to go and see them potentially, with therapy, mm. I don't even think, you know, that this is where the stigma needs That's to change. That's what I mean, there doesn't need to be a problem. But yeah, if you, in the same way that I say, oh, I go and have a physio once a week, people are like, oh, well, what injury have you got? I said, I haven't. Don't want to because get it's one. preventative yeah. and I think that's the same with therapy if there's any totally. inkling of anything that's holding you back yeah. in your career in your relationship yeah. with alcohol fix it before there's a problem get on top of it <laughs> yeah do you know what the um I'm going to do like a proper review of all the books that I've been reading because they've been really fascinating but 
a lot of you were asking about thoughts on Dr. Peter Attia's book, Outlive, um, and it's all about extending your health span as opposed to just your lifespan, like being fit and able and well in your latter years. But I thought it was fascinating that actually his final two chapters were all about mental health, mm. because he was saying that it's similar, that you have to work on it your entire life in order to not reach that Is point where Is it the biggest muscle in your body? I don't know. Is a brain and muscle. It's the biggest organ in your body, right? Probably. Yeah. Um, and he was saying that also there's no point in living a long and healthy life if you're living an unhappy life. So he was really um, drilling Big home a lot that. of points. But anyway, uh, I was only planning on doing a little bit of a chat with you. I will leave all the information about Better Health linked down below because we both think it's such a fantastic service. You can fill out, I'll pop a little example on the screen here. You can fill out a questionnaire online and that will help to match you with the perfect therapist. If they're not perfect for any reason, then it's not an issue at all to switch around and find someone new until you feel really comfortable with someone. Mm. And as we mentioned, you can do it in the comfort of your own home, whatever time it suits you. And It um, is the perfect time of year, I think. Yeah, like, new habit, new routine. It, it, I know everyone gets a bit sick of January, new me, new year, whatever, but I do think we found it to be extremely useful. Mm setting our goals in january yeah even whilst on holiday we've been consistent with our fitness and with our nutrition mm -hmm. and you just it just starts the year afresh also it means that you just already have that momentum mm -hmm. don't put these things off um and to be honest i'm speaking from big experience as i say with both with with regards to this mm -hmm. and i think therapy is for everyone it's just finding the right person yeah. and being honest of course yeah um and and yeah i i, I really hope through our content not just working you know on this but that we can affect more positive change with regards to that because i think same with alcohol i don't want to ram it down people's throats but even on this trip the amount mm. of people that have asked me about it and said actually do you know what that sounds like my son or maybe i've got that you know and, it, mm. and it's like yeah look you don't have to be an alcoholic to yeah. accept you have a problem with an alcohol yeah. in the same way in other areas of mental health and in and you know things that therapists can help with mm. yeah mm. so very there you very go. interesting yeah Great, well, Boom. thank you for being very open, my right, darling. There we go. Wowza, there we go. Mega juicy. So, yeah, I'm going to leave um, my link to Better Help down below, which will get you an incredible um, discount should you think that it's something that you'd like to try. As you can tell, it's something that we would really, really highly recommend. There'll be the discount code information on the screen here. Um, yeah, so without further ado, we are going to head over to the beach. What time is it? we run then we will get there in time for we sunset sun setting in half an hour but yeah we're gonna go and grab a beachside cocktail or mocktail and then it is the mediterranean spice soup dinner tonight which is so delicious so let's go and if you want to try we have back sauce which is zero oh, okay, lovely this is the best. thank you Excellent. There's a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy? Back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it Good morning, all. my darlings. So today started with a nice workout in the gym. Charlie's still there. We did separate workouts this morning. I did a 45 minute bar class and I think Charlie's done like a cardio class. I was I was too tired to do a cardio class this morning because we had a very late night last night. 
for us on holiday. We didn't get to bed until about half 11 OMG because um, we actually had dinner with one of the lovely families that we've met here. Charlie and I are such um, friend makers on holiday and this was our second evening this trip that we actually joined another party. Um, we had dinner with a couple that we met last week and then yeah last night with a lovely family and yeah we just didn't get to bed until half 11 so I wasn't feeling a full mega workout. I don't think Charlie will be too much longer, he was just starting to stretch when I left. So we're just gonna get ready for breakfast now and I thought I would share a few of my Maldivian beauty favorites just really quickly um, because if you are coming here or if you're coming anywhere that's like a tropical climate then I think this would be really useful and these are a few of my favorites. So this is the Clay de Peau, um Hydro Softening Lotion and I'm, I've bought with me loads of my reusable cotton pads and it's just so mega hydrating. And then as always Clay de Peau Le Serum, this is this is really fantastic for just helping the rest of your skincare products penetrate a bit deeper into your skin. Lovely and hydrating, anti-aging, trying not to flash you. <laughs> and I think it's on Look Fantastic that you can get the little mini bottles of this. So that is a non-negotiable in my skincare routine. I did show you a little clip um, a couple of vlogs ago of packing all of my skincare. I've used this Elizabeth Arden Ceramide tub to put all of my favourite capsules in there. The orange ones, the orange ones are actually the Oskia Vitamin C and I love them. Um, and then I've got the Elizabeth Arden Hyaluronic Acid Capsule, which is really great because something about this particular capsule, obviously you're getting the hydrating benefits of the hyaluronic acid, but it's also somehow a little bit mattifying. You'll see what I mean now, because I'm, oh my gosh, there are literally dolphins right outside my window. I'm facing a giant window right now. It's this time of day that they commute. They go from one side of the island to the other. Um, just so magical. We actually leave our blinds open overnight so that we wake up naturally as the sun rises because we are on the sunrise side of the jetty. So the sun literally rises just there. So there we go, nice hydrated skin. I did also bring with me a few things to tan my face because I wear factor 50 and a cap so I'm really not getting much sun on my face. So the saint -Tropez Purity Mist is very, very useful so that my face is not a million shades lighter than my body. But I also bought with me this um, Hyaluronic Acid Tanning Serum from Scientia. And that's been really nice. It's literally like a water consistency and it's so hydrating. I feel like my skin is so hydrated right now. Um, what other favorites? I've got so many bits and bobs here. I bought with me, I bought a lot, not gonna lie. The Ordinary Soothing and Barrier Support Serum. I've been putting that on in the evenings. I thought barrier support, lipids, vitamins, phytotechnologies, epidermal repair. I thought that if I get a little bit too much sun on my face, that would be quite a good one. Moisturizer-wise, I've been loving this. It's the Magnolia Jasmine and Lily Healing Emotion Emulsion from Shantikai. I've been using this as a day cream and a night cream and taking it all down my neck and chest area. I will do that in a second. <laughs> Once I've stopped filming, I'll drop my towel to do that. And then SPF-wise, I bought a few with me totally over the top. The one that both Charlie and I love is the SkinCeuticals Advanced Brightening UV Defense SPF 50. This one, Charlie and I both love that one. It's not tinted, it's just great. Um, I also bought with me the Clay de Peau UV Protective Cream SPF 50. I also put this one all the way down this area as well. I think it's just as important to protect this area as your face. But then on those days when I just want a little bit of a little bit of tint because as I mentioned my face is always paler than my body, this one is fantastic. La Roche-Posay Factor 50 and it's a hydrating cream, so it's a moisturizer and SPF in one and it has got a little bit of tint to it. So that's been great. Um, hydrating for the body, I actually finished this this morning. CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. But luckily I bought with me a giant tub 
of their moisturizing cream, which I adore. I also love the Beauty Pie um, body lotion as well. I mean, I bought so many, <laughs> so many beauty products. I've been using Shiseido's Factor 50, and this is great for those days when I'm in and out of the water because it's really, really waterproof. And afterwards, as an after sun, this is the after sun repairing lotion from Cordly. So that's a little snippet into what I've been using while I've been here. Anything else to show you? Deodorant, um, I've recently switched to a more natural deodorant and I'm using Wild. It's really nice and moisturizing. I don't smell <laughs> despite the temperatures here and the workouts that I've been doing. And it's refillable, compostable refills. So this, and I just think it's really gorgeous as well. I have got a discount code for this, which I'll leave linked down below. Little Drunk Elephant Eye Cream. This is the Ceramite AF Eye Balm. I've been using this little mini. Oh, and this is a really good shout if you're coming to the Maldives. This is a more natural bug spray. It's from a brand called Pure Essential Bite and Sting Repellent and Soothing Spray. They also have a little roll on. I don't know if I've got it here. Maybe not. Um, that you can actually put on your bites that stops them itching. So, yeah, those are my favorites. I always don't go anywhere without this for my hair. I think you can get this on Look Fantastic as well. I may have a Look Fantastic discount code. If I do, I'll leave that link down below. So there we go. I can hear Charlie coming up the little jetty back to our water bungalow. So I'm gonna carry on getting ready now and I'll see you at breakfast. <laughs> So it's a few hours later. I had a lovely little snorkel off our um, off our villa earlier. If I've got any decent clips from the GoPro, I'll pop them on the screen here. I think I might have even spotted a giant turtle because um, the marine biologist said that he'd spotted one in the seagrass meadow earlier. And as soon as I got in, saw a shark, and then later on four stingrays just floating by, all super speedy. Everyone was on a mission today. Um, but we've just had a lovely lunch. You might be able to see I've still got snorkel marks on my face. <laughs> they always take forever to go down. But um, yeah, just had lunch, lovely Thai. And I'm heading now to the spa. They offer a free 15 minute health screening. I think it's like a biometric screening or something like that. We'll find out more, but I thought it sounded very fascinating. Uh, so I'm taking my oat milk latte to go, iced oat milk latte. So let's go and see what this is all about. So basically uh, it includes basic parameters of blood pressure monitor, oximeter and galvanoskin response, so food and the hand. Oh. So from this all we are getting the data. It's interesting. Okay. <laughs> You'll get more connected. Uh, because of your already, you are aware about the health, mm -hmm. so it's good. Interesting. Mm -hmm. This hand, for the time being, you can keep like that. Okay. Let me just switch it on. Now you can just relax, okay? Just focus on your breath. on this area mm -hmm. so it's indicating the length of your inhalation oh. and red is length of your exhalation so mm -hmm. you have to match up with this count five okay. second inhale five second exhale okay mm -hmm. breathe in breathe out Okay, so I thought I would just come and sit in at the kitchen garden and um, talk about that experience. So really, really interesting. They call it their wellness report. And as you saw, I had these two little nodules attached to my head and my hands and my feet were on these electronic pads. And what um, he was explaining is that you basically have a microcurrent running through as well as something taking your blood pressure and your heart rate. Um, and it's able to tell so many different things from um, the way that your body handles insulin to your 
immunity, so many different factors. I'll go through them all when I get the results on my phone. Um, but then you get an overall wellness score at the end of it. My score was 87%, which he said was really good. And most things were all in the green, all of the markers to do with my blood fat lipid levels, my immunity, um, insulin resistance, all really, really good. But interestingly, there was one main area that was causing me to not have a perfect score, and that was mental stress. <laughs> I actually scored well below what I should have scored for mental stress, and that also impacted my recovery, so recovery from exercise, which is really interesting. He did say that because the workouts that I'm doing are well suited to my body and um, they're perfect for me, that my regularity with exercising has meant that that's been able to keep up the majority of my other scores. But yeah, mental stress is something that I really need to work on apparently, um, which fits in quite perfectly with what we've been talking about in this video with therapy and things like that um, but also focusing on better sleep there are definitely things I need to do to have better quality sleep I think not being on my phone not checking emails not checking social media quite so close to bedtime Charlie and I have already said we're going to keep our phones out of the bedroom when we go to sleep from now on. Just a few other things that we need to do to try and imp improve sleep, which does help improve your um, your stress levels. But reassuring to hear that the exercise that I'm doing is working and it's good for my body and that mostly everything is working as it should do, cardiovascularly, um, like cholesterol, all these things, which is just amazing that this test is able to show there's going to be a tractor going by in a second. Um, but yeah, mental stress is what I need to work on. Very, very fascinating. And we will be able to look at my results again in a few years. Um, if we come back here or I think to any six senses, they will do a little um, update for you. So yeah, very, very interesting. Need to work on my stress levels. So, oh, he said my dopamine could be a little bit higher as well. And he said that I need to work on when... He said something else that I could improve on with regards to the stress levels was sitting back and acknowledging when we have an achievement. He was saying that, you know, life can go by really quickly and you can achieve all these things but not actually step back and almost take in what you've achieved and for some magical reason this test was able to tell that I don't really do that and I know for sure that that is true as soon as something great happens it's just like okay cool on to the next maybe that's something that we can all do moving forward but anyway I'm gonna head back to the beach so I'll see you later good evening my darlings it's a few hours later now we had a lovely couple of hours on the beach we've actually got something very lovely planned for this evening we're heading out on a sunset dony romantic little cruise i think we're going to be out on the water for about an hour probably and it's a really beautiful old maldivian typical bony bony dot dony boat um hopefully we might see some dolphins maybe i'm not sure how fast this boat goes i think actually it's just a sailboat but this is going to be charlie and i and our boat sailor skipper um and it's just the most gorgeous evening so very much looking forward to that i have popped on this little dress nice lightweight dress oops brasier um which is actually just a nice little beach dress from erez and i've managed to pack all of my essentials in my cute little lima bag so we're gonna head over to the jetty and have a lovely romantic sunset cruise two dolphin fins coming out the water unfortunately oh, as you can dolphin, see <laughs> as you might be able to see we don't have any wind so we're not really able to move but we're just going to float here and hope the dolphins give us a little show oh there they are hello amazing
Come on, babies. They like the boats, don't they? Yeah. Well, we just had the most <laughs> glorious 10 minutes. Um, I won't use the word sailing, floating. It was a glorious 10 minutes of yep. floating. Unfortunately, there's just not no wind. wind tonight. I think, look, I think in a weird way, <laughs> the pot, it's a, like we've been, ha we've had probably one of the best, last two days have been mm. the best weather. Yeah. Um, blue sky, so not, a, not a cloud, still. not a breeze, but it's yeah. so still as a result. And it was a it beautiful, traditional, very old Maldivian Doni with no engine, just a sail. Yeah. And um, they took us out on a little speedboat tender hoping that between a little bit further away from yeah. the island though we'd be able to catch a breeze but unfortunately we couldn't but we still got to see some dolphins even though we were only out there for 10 minutes they weren't feeling too playful they weren't giving us a show but they just no. sailed on swam on by um so i feel like we had a oh look we're it was in, a lovely time we're in absolute paradise yeah the the you take it for granted like i'm sure i've bored people before on the vlog saying like you know we're so lucky with where we live mm. and the views that we have from our house and sometimes we take that for granted yeah the views here are spectacular yeah and yeah we just folks on the bus are going to go have a nice cocktail or a kombucha or something mm -hmm. and have an early dinner aren't yeah. we yeah we're just watching yeah. the sunset from this side of the island um and we're heading to the chill bar for dinner tonight but i think we're as soon as we've got We've got maybe 10 minutes until the sun actually sets, so we're going to do a little bit of a walk, grab a cocktail, and then time for dinner. Well, I couldn't resist another evening of the butter chicken. It is so scrumptious. What have you gone for, darling? That looks very healthy. Uh, it's called the chicken soba, mm. S-O-B-A. Hand it's, it's, I love this, it's got like slaw, peanuts, it's really nice. It looks lovely. And veg side. Nice. Yeah. Bon appetit. Today is our penultimate day here in the Maldives. Day after tomorrow we are heading home, but we've got a really fun day planned today. We've actually got a private picnic island experience. So we're heading out on one of the Doni boats, this time with an engine, <laughs> so we will actually move um, to an island and we're gonna have a lovely picnic set up there, do some snorkeling, enjoy some time on the water. So it's gonna be a really gorgeous day. I have popped on my honorine, my favorite very long little beach dress. I have no idea if I'm just a silhouette or if you can see. And then my little Erez strapless bikini underneath. Let's get going. on land we're actually getting a boat upgrade <laughs> with that time lucky because there was a little problem with the engine we got about 100 meters out and then the engine just kind of puzzled <laughs> but, and I've got a bit of a boat curse this yeah time. this is third time lucky but you know what as we've just said this one last night happened. not enough movement this time engine giving up engine on us failure. but this one looks like it's got some nice comfortable um, this, this sun like lounge on the front the boat, yeah isn't Riva Rolls-Royce of the boat world yeah Either way, this one's got some fabulous seats on the front so we can catch Tam and head to our private island. I can picture Dexter and Dickens just like prancing around to this song. Do you want to tell everyone what song is on the boat radio? It's Gangster's Paradise by, oh my god, hang on. Tupac? It's Tupac, isn't it? I think so. By Dexter. Is it Coolio? No. Oh man, I should know. Yeah, this is Dexter's favourite song. just deciding which of these completely deserted islands on the edge of the atoll 
we are going to be spending the next few hours. It's just amazing. There is literally nothing and no one on these islands and each one of them is tropical paradise. Look at the color of the water. Wow. Okay, we have pulled up at our private island. So Six Senses own this island and they've built a couple of umbrellas, a couple of uh, beach beds, but that's it. The chaps are just delivering our cushions and the picnic things. Then they're gonna sail away. Yeah. And it's just me and you, mate. Yeah. You're stuck with me. So there goes the boat. We are officially What's the word? Um, stranded. Stranded. <laughs> we are officially stranded on this tropical island paradise. How fabulous. So we've got a little picnic set up over there. We've got a couple of little umbrellas and we've got this entire place to ourselves. So we are just going to go for a little explore. These dark areas you can see in the ocean are rocks with some fabulous fish and corals. We've already seen a humongous stingray just out here. So. Wow, we're here for the next three or four hours. I can't believe we've got the whole island to ourselves. So let's see what supplies they've left us with. We've got a fabulously rustic picnic hamper. And I think we chose the wellness um, food selection. Ah, oh, is that food or drink? That's food. I see. And I'm guessing... Oh, wow. Gosh, this is being deserted on a desert island luxury style. We've got like an eight course wellness picnic and I think this is, I love that they even cover everything in the fabric so it looks a little bit more rustic. So that must be a cool box, right? Yeah. Should we see if there's any coconuts? Yes! Oh my gosh, so we have to hack the tops off these. Well, no, because look, I think that's literally just a small bit to take. That's amazing. Loads of water. Perfect. It's like our very own glamorous episode of Lost. Yeah. <laughs> oh, heaven. And if we get even more thirsty, there's plenty of coconuts up in the tree. There's yeah, a little... Can you imagine? <laughs> I'd like to see you trying to climb up them. Is that a little seating area? I don't know what these are. These might be... Because, uh, so to explain for our lovely YouTube audience, this is a, is a deserted island. Yeah. And Six Senses rent, pay a rent for this island another one, both of which are like 25 minutes from Six Senses Hotel, which you can't see them in the distance. Mm. And I guess hence they've built these little picnic beds, and it's just for picnic purposes. Mm. So no one lives here, no one can live here. No. But I imagine some of this predates Six Senses. So is this yeah. like fishing or something? This thing over here? I have no idea. And a little shack, which is maybe a loo, maybe just somewhere to hide if you get caught in a torrential rainstorm. There's a little swing over there. Wow. here by ourselves. The boat that dropped us off has gone. Charlie's exploring the little shacks inside the island. I thought it would be a great idea <laughs> to bring some matcha latte with me. I think that was a fantastic idea in my ocean bottle. So I'm going to have my mid-morning caffeine hit. This will be one of my top tips if you're coming to the Maldives. Bring an ocean bottle. Private island, both with our OBs. OBs. Wearing my OBs. OBs. Ocean bottle in all of our brown <laughs>
set up. We've got all of these little um, picnic tubs and inside we chose a few different dishes. I just had a lovely beetroot, goat's cheese and macadamia nut salad with some microgreens on it. And then for pudding we've got coconut yogurt, some mango, there's a couple of little fruit skewers with dragon fruit, star fruit, banana, there's some kiwis in here and lots of my favourites, little dates. Oh, we are feeling very, very relaxed. It is just absolute bliss here. We've got a couple more hours until we get picked up and it's just perfect. Very civilised way to be marooned on a desert island. So we have made it back to the Six Senses, to our home island. That was such a magical experience. I would so highly recommend that. It just felt incredible having the entire island to ourselves and then the speedboat came and picked us up 20 minutes we enjoyed sitting in the front getting a little bit more sun on our way home i've realized i haven't actually yet shown you my favorite part of the island which is i'll flip you around show you a little bit better this is the homemade ice cream station they have got such a ginormous selection of sorbets so some of the flavors um for example cacao nibs cocoa nibs and moldavian chili earl grey tea coriander passion fruit watermelon tamarind raspberry and hibiscus they've got different toppings you can put on top and this is literally all you can eat you can have as many ice creams as your heart desires vegan options um, i might even put some brownie on top of my ice cream loads of the different actual ice creams here i've got raspberry ripple my favorites are strawberry and cream rocky road and where is it pistachio which they call their green gold so they're all in this giant fridge can't see it too well because it's so bright in here oh my goodness they really are absolutely scrumptious and then you've got the little drizzles, chocolate, honey lavender, and salty caramel that you can put on top. And here is our order for today. Charlie's just sorting something out at reception. Charlie's got strawberry and raspberry ripple, and I have got double raspberry ripple.
great workout this morning and before, because today sadly is our last day, before we go I wanted to give you a little mini tour of the kitchen garden here at the Six Senses because it's just absolutely incredible what they managed to achieve here given the temperatures and the lack of fertility I guess you could say of the soil. I know that they collect a lot of the seaweed um, that washes up overnight, seaweed is so fertile and they compost that along with um, other bits and bobs here at the island but you might remember this time last year was when I became a little bit obsessed with microgreens they are so good for you I think well let me flip you around and show you what they are to start with I mean this is just the dream setup they've got so many different kinds um, this looks like could actually even be like a cabbage um, this to me looks like a radish Beetroot is a really good one to do as well, and broccoli, this one's a little bit more mature over here. But if you eat a microgreen, and bearing in mind they're like this big, it contains 40 times the amount of nutrients as the fully grown plant. It's in such a major growth stage. They're so good for you and so easy to grow, whether you've just got a little windowsill or an entire greenhouse. Um, so yeah, once again, I'm going to grow a few more of those when I get back. But this is the kitchen garden. They are putting the covers on everything now because it's going to be a really toasty day. I just saw one of the chaps coming to collect some coriander for some cocktails later. They've got so many different things that we can't grow in the UK. Different butterfly pea mints which turn your drinks blue. <laughs> Good morning. What are you growing in this one here? Is it radish? Yeah. Yes. It is the rocket leaves. Oh, rocket leaves. Yeah. Oh, lovely. It's too hot, so you're putting the yeah. cover on for that reason? Amazing, thank you. So all the plants have these little shaded beds. I mean, it's still roasting in there, but at least they're not under the direct sun. And they've got some really incredible herbs, lemongrass, Cuban thyme. This is the leaf restaurant that we've eaten at a couple of times since we've been here. They've got something here called beech lettuce, which grows well in these kinds of soils. That looks like it could be a broccoli microgreen just so lovely and you can have little master classes and tastings here it's already too hot my goodness yeah just incredible and then in the middle of the island they grow veggies apparently pumpkins grow really well here it's just such a gorgeous spot but anyway I need to head back get showered and then it's time for breakfast this is the butterfly pea. It's really unusual. It's part of the sweet pea family, but it's actually edible. You can definitely see the similarities. Um, but yeah, this will have the incredible power of turning your cocktail or your smoothie or your even your tea, your latte, bright blue, which is very rare in nature. Oh, the birds are very vocal this morning. Gosh, I just love the Maldivian sound effects. What a place to work. How relaxing and wonderful. Let's see if we can find them. Where are you, little one? Hmm. Hiding from me. <laughs> my darlings I haven't spoken to you all day it's our last day today so we've been relaxing at the beach just making the most of every minute you had a nice last day darling it's been wonderful yeah <clears throat> I don't think we could have wished for a better honeymoon no um it's been magical yes um as sad as it will be to go home two we've been so fortunate and lucky to be here for two weeks the longest we've ever been in the Maldives mm -hmm. and Gosh, I think we're ready. Really? Yeah, by, well, it'll be 15 days. It'll be 15 nights that we'll have been away this night because yeah. we, we went on an evening. So oh, yeah. it's the longest we've been away on holiday together, Whoa. potentially in our relationship in 12 Whoa. years. So it's been amazing. And I think we're returning, looking forward to seeing the dogs, yes. looking forward to seeing your mum, yes. looking forward to seeing the house. Yeah. And to be honest, get it ready. we feel mentally ready to get back to work, don't we? Yes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's it will be sad tonight. leaving. Hopefully we'll be yeah. back. Hope so. Very special place. Hopefully. But it's been nice, hasn't it? It has been absolutely wonderful and I think you can probably tell by our voices we both feel very chilled, very relaxed and yeah, ready to go home. But I am going to end the vlog here. We are heading now to dinner for our final night. We're leaving the island at 9 o'clock in the morning. It's the Asian street it's market tonight. Night. 
is our favourite, so lots of delicious food. We've had a glorious sunset. So my darlings, I hope you enjoyed experiencing a little bit of our honeymoon with us. Thank you for watching and we shall see you back in the Cotswolds. We'll see you in the rain. In the rain. <laughs> see how long this tan lasts in the rain. Yeah, you work on a tan and then you wear thermals for the rest of January. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.